welcome to chemistry lover and in this video we are going to discuss about uh, questions on solvolysis reaction so uh, several question may be formed out of these two uh, particular substrates and in this particular case i am talking about the rate difference of these two this one so first one is this this one may be a this one is b so you have given these two compounds and uh, in acetic acid solvent uh, we are performing the solvolysis reaction so the first question should be what is the rate between a and b which one will react faster and the second question is what will be the product of these uh, two reactions so um, if i talk about b it is simple it is a simple substrate where uh, you can see this OTS group is there and if uh, any um, solvolysis reaction occurs here what will happen so first if this goes you will have this uh, carbocation over here so positive charge the carbocation over here and um, now on this carbocation the acetic acid can come okay and actually it is not uh, SN1 reaction it should be a SN2 reaction right it should be SN2 reaction because this primary carbocation will not be that much stable so we, uh, what product you are going to get from here is this one OAC this product you will get but the case of A is interesting so in case of A what you will get in case of A you can see so you have this OTS group right and here you have this double bond so uh, this molecule can orient itself in such a way that this double bond can participate as a neighboring group to kick off this OTS and from that you will get um, some uh, breezed carbocation intermediate like this where it is bound, bounded both with this center and this center so here you will have a positive charge if i uh, rewrite it how it will look like so it will look something like this okay and here uh, you have um, how many carbon atoms one two three yeah three carbon atoms so this okay now uh, this acetic acid it can attack from either side and let's say it attacks from this side so from here what you will get you will get a product like this here you have this OAC and on this side you have this so this is one two three three carbon atoms yeah so this is the thing you will get now if you uh, look carefully how it is so it will basically look like this one yeah so this is the product of your reaction and of course this reaction will be much faster than the previous one because of this neighboring group participation in the previous case you don't have any neighboring group participation so uh, the product will also be different in two cases and the reaction rate will also differ so mm, that's all uh, it is an interesting question. I hope it will be helpful for you.